All right, tell the YouTube people where we are and what we're up to this time. Well, here we are at Cowan's Gap State Park, and uh, we have some fond memories of this place, Nathan and I. And I remember coming out here with the Art Guild, the Mount, Mount Union Art Guild, and uh, for a while I took up painting, my sister and I. She, after my husband passed away, she came, my sister lived with me for about a year, but she had this, what got us started painting, she had this old ironing board that was my mother's, and it was wooden, and it didn't have legs or anything. When you, you, when you ironed with it, you put one end on the table, one end on the back of the chair, and that's how she ironed. And uh, so my sister had this wooden ironing board, and she wanted to paint it. And so we took up painting lessons. And uh, the art guild used to like to come out here to Cohen's Gap State Park. But she did get her the painting done on the ironing board. Her son has it now. And, uh, and I learned to paint a few things. And one of the things I painted was the old cabin up, up at Mountain Inn. That's where we were going to go today, but we couldn't get a hold of the person to get the keys. And it's up in the Carlisle Gap. And if you want to see the picture that I painted. We actually have it with us. <laughs> we brought it along. Just, and, uh, I want to make a point that this usually is hanging in my living room. And Let me zoom in on it. And here is the picture that I used. Where is this? It's under, it's under, under that. Yeah, there you go. The picture that I used it for the painting. It's, you got it stuck to it. There it is. Okay. And this is the picture that I used to make this painting. And well, let me readjust the camera here and then I'll come over and help you. <laughs> Nathan decided that he wanted the picture and so it hangs in his mom's living room. And yeah, there it is up close. And as you can see, kind of a side by side comparison there, that's pretty close. And actually, this is a picture of when you first finished the uh, painting with that other picture sitting in front of it. So that is that. So it was the art guild that, that the people in there I got to be good friends with. And some of them were good artists and some of them were not so good. I was one of the not so good. But I You had a lot of good ones though. But for somebody that never painted before in my... 60s, 70s, I was more or less a Grandma Moses, and uh, and Leona, my sister, got got her ironing board painted too, and it's a, she did a real good job. What she put on the painting was uh, a house, the house that we lived in when we were kids. I still remember that. That was Longfellow, and uh, some of the best. Good best friends that I had were from the art guild. So uh, when I got to be older, probably 80 or something like that, I gave up painting and I moved to McVeigh Town. And I didn't feel like driving clear up to Mount Union to go to the art guild. And, and uh, I still see some of those people. But we came here and brought our lunch and, and, and we came to paint, really. Some of the girls did some painting. Some of us just looked around to see some places that we would like to paint. So Jessie Paulsino was one. She loved to come out here because she liked to fish, and she was one of the good painters in the art field. Yes, she was. And she, she's not with us anymore either. My sister is not with us anymore either. But her son has the painting that she did. And it even had a little clothesline on it. My mother always hung clothes out. Of course, she didn't have an automatic washer and dryer. She had 11 kids, but she never had a washer and dryer. And I had, a, I enjoyed our guild. And the people that were already artists would help us and tell us what, what do you need to, to do. Or, in fact, I think I may have had somebody help me 
draw the draw this before I painted it, but they were good to help with the newcomers in the RPM. So, uh, and I also one of the memories I have of this place. My sister and their family had a camper, and we would come out. They came out here and camp, but I would come out and stay until time to go home. Sometimes it was kind of late at night. But we were making a lot of noise one night and the foot park ranger came around. <laughs> we were singing and things like you do around the campground. Sitting around the campfires. And he said we were making too much noise. Some of the people complained. I guess they were ready to go to bed and we were still going strong. I think I always get in the subject get on that subject, camping. <laughs> that was a big deal for us, though. It was one of the things we loved to do. Because, so. you know, we, we've always lived near the mountains, and, you know, this was always just something that was part of our lives. So this is Collins Gap State Park, and uh, probably on a good day when there would be a lot of people here. Yeah, we got kind of a drippy day today, but on the other hand, that just means it's not crowded. <laughs> right. So, uh, we were lucky to find this pavilion. I did a lot of other paintings too. I think everybody in my family has well, at least one of my paintings. My grandsons and my kids. And this is this one's Nathan's. <laughs> he has good memories. Of I have a couple other ones that you did. I have one of a covered bridge not not the big red covered bridge there was another one that you did that was like a fall scene um, of a little white covered bridge that hangs in the corner oh, of my room i remember that now uh, i sometimes i see a picture someplace and I'm, oh yeah i remember painting that and when i moved to mcveigh town i i had quite a few paintings and i thought I'm having an auction. I think I still have that little schoolhouse you did too. And I st and I have a couple in my apartment now. We showed the one you did at the house. Yeah. Which house? Our house. Oh yeah. The one that you have in the oh, living room. Oh yeah, now. where you yeah where you live now. <laughs> yeah. Where I moved out of when I moved out up at Newton Hamlin, I gave my daughter, my house, and Nathan still lives there with his mom. And uh, I think the last painting that I did was David, my nephew, David Corbin, his farmhouse in, down there at Longfellow. And he didn't know I was painting it till I gave it to him. He was, he was actually surprised because <laughs> he didn't even know he was in the painting. But he was happy to get that painting. So Nathan and I brought our lunch along today. <laughs> we always do wherever we go. We have to have our lunch, of course. Right. <laughs> so. Um, well, getting back to what we were saying before about we were going to go to the current mountain end today, but we couldn't get up in there. And we wanted to get some pictures of what it looks like now and the reason why I say that is because of that picture you're holding there. This is what happened to it here. I'll, I'll hold it closer to the camera so they can see. It, it was the winter of 97 going into 98, this happened. It burnt down. I guess what happened, Bud left the stove lit or something like that and the flue was clogged up or something like that. It got too hot. Yeah, the, the guy, well, he was basically the owner of the place or one of the owners and yeah. And then this happened and we still went there that summer after they got it all tore down and it was just a foundation. They had a picnic table there, and I remember we still went there for one summer. So Nathan and I both cried when we heard the mountain in burnt down. Because every summer, every Thursday, that's where we would go. Good memories of mountain in with my sister and her dad and her family and, and some other, even the pa Pam, the one of her parents. She owns, she and her parents own the camp. Oh, tell the YouTube people what we discovered in this month's Common Ground that happened since we made our last video. Oh, when we were down Lickin' Creek and we found out that 
the fountain that they're repairing and remodeling, and then the Common Ground magazine, which Pam is one of the editors, she and her cousin Ruth, and uh, somebody wrote an article for Common Ground that they discovered this. About the same fountain. <laughs> and she, she, they remembered it from way, way back too. But the pictures they had in the magazine weren't as... It was before they had it finished. Before they even started fixing it up. Yeah. It wasn't quite finished when we were there, but we hoped... At least back. it was functional when we were there. We hoped to go back and get some pictures when it's all fixed up. And yeah. I remember that from my childhood when we used to go for our re Corbin reunions down at that park. Yeah. And it's right on the... It's down in Licking Creek. And it, the proper pronunciation, I think, is Licking Creek. Nobody ever says Licking Creek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Linda and I were talking about that when we went down to North Carolina last week. She said... I think the proper way to say it is Licking Creek. Not Licking Creek, because that's what people say. Right. Around our, where I live, if you said Licking Creek, that's, what are you talking about? Remember you're trying to put on the dog or something. But it, it is Licking Creek. So anyhow, we had good memories from there too, because the Corbin family reunion was always down there. And I remembered that. Nathan didn't even know it was there. I would have had no idea until that we found it that day. <laughs> and this beautiful rock work. And uh, so we'll get some more pictures of that someday when they have it finished. We, the girls from the art guild, there were a couple of guys who went to art guild also, come up here one day. We brought our lunch and we walked. The whole way around now I'm going to show everybody that there is actually a lake here. Yes. Can't really see it real well from where we're sitting, but there's camps. There you can some see place where you can rent a, ca a cabin and come for a weekend or whatever. And uh, it's a beautiful place in the summer. There's I promise one of these days I'm going to get a better tripod. <laughs> a lot. Of a lot of people come here on the weekends, and, they, and people that like to fish come here. And actually, what county is this? We're in Fulton County right now. Fulton County. Cohen's Gap. How it, I don't know how it got its name. I'm not really sure either. Probably some guy named Cohen. Probably. <laughs> I had to make a guess. So, uh, about run out of things to say. I think that's pretty good for this time around. Well, at least we brought the picture along. <laughs> Nathan said. Hopefully, next month we can actually go there. I hope so. I'll take some pictures. And there's a, a beautiful little spring where there's this pipe comes out, never goes dry. Do you ever wonder why that never goes dry? That water runs out of the side of the ridge and it never goes dry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we have a man with his dog. <laughs> The dog has a sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's a... We come up here to take pictures. <laughs> yesterday, I didn't need no sweater. <laughs> no, no. No, not, not yesterday. <laughs> you couldn't believe it got that cold overnight. <laughs> Do you come out here often? Yeah, every day we come up for a walk. Uh, I just live down over the hill here. So. Oh, do you? We, we're about an hour away. <laughs> oh, yeah. We come from McVeigh Town. It is a lovely place. Good place for walking, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I bring her up every afternoon for a walk. We couldn't come after lunch today, could we? It was raining. We used to come out here quite often. 
my uh, sister had a camper. She camped out here. Yeah. I used to come out with some other people and yeah. come out pretty often. Oh, it's a nice park. Yes, it is. Yeah. They've done yeah. some uh, yeah. new things to it, too, since I was here last. Yeah, I only live two tenths of a mile. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do a lot of fishing up there, joint fishing. Do you catch a lot of fish in there? Yeah, I, yeah, there's all kinds of fish. I see these two guys out there, they're both fishing now. What do they catch? Mostly trout or what? Yeah, the, that's what I fish for, is trout. Yeah, yeah, there's bass in there, there's bluegills, there's catfish, and crappies, and uh, perch. About everything in there, but uh, yeah, yeah, I like my turkey fishing. <laughs> you ready to go? Huh? You ready to go? All right, we'll go. Huh? <laughs> and, uh, come on. <laughs> Should I be walking away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I, I think that's it for today's episode then, huh? Yep. <laughs> All right, I guess it's lunchtime then. <laughs>